I'm starting to run out of creative ideas. I'm not giving up on this. I'm too far in. I'm just going to use some bare wire I had sitting on the table to make a shorter version of what I just did because my theory is that cable is too long for the messed up configuration that I had. Franken cable version three. And connect. We have lights. Let's drag that file over. Uh, I can tell you right now, those speeds are too fast. Check on here, hit the up arrow. Yeah, no errors. I'm gonna take that long cable and cut it in half. I'm wondering if I'm honing in on that magical length where this all starts working or not. Connect, no connect. All right, let's go yet shorter again. Run a test. Whole thing is still blinking. It sees the other side. It's still showing split, but it's also showing that it's open. Let's test it out. Still no signal. I feel like we're getting closer and yet I'm so scared that I'm not gonna get anywhere at all. So, so I'm at about, oh, I don't know. This would be about 10 feet, maybe 12 feet uh, in length. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go down to about, how about about here? I've got about a seven foot cable with my jacked up wiring scheme. I'm actually getting pretty fast at making messed up cables. Ah. Testing. Same results. Same results. Where is that magic line? So I'm at about, oh, what would you say? Two and a half, three feet or, though, or so? Hey, hey, I have lights. All right, hang on, let's jump over here. Okay, I can ping the other side. So is my cable too good now? Am I, am I searching for that magical spot? All right, let's see. Let's see, I'm gonna run a, co a file copy. 10.9, 11.2, that's pretty good. Hang on, let's log into the switch and check the packet statistics. Uh, one, ah, uh, no, there's, there's a magical line somewhere between seven foot and three foot that makes this cable good. Okay, so two and a half, three foot, good, seven foot, bad. Let's see if we can find something in the middle. Cable test says, same results. Equipment test says, we have signal, somewhat. Look at that. Hang on. You see that? Look at that light. It's kind of like, uh, it's kind of turning on and off. This one's staying solid. That one's turning on and off. We may be onto something here. Oh, look at that. It's getting fake duplex mismatches. There's no duplex mismatch. This is gigabit ethernet. It's been that way the whole time. This is interesting. I think I'm getting closer. Oh, look at that. Double two input errors. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just see. Ping 192.168.1.25-t. Let's see if we can ping that NAS on the other side. No, no useful traffic. So I'm glancing out of the corner of my eye at this, and I'm seeing that light literally shut off and back on. So here's my theory. I think this one is just barely too long to where I don't even... It's like the connection won't come up on one side, but the other side thinks it's fine. So no data can actually go across to give me any resemblance of a, of a result where I can say, okay, let's, let's, oh, hey, hey, look at this. Oh man. Oh man. I can't tell you how much time I put into this. We're so close. I can feel it. So, so we're, we've got five input errors, two CRC errors. So we've got some connectivity starting to come up. Oh man. Here we go. Hang on. Hang on. Okay. So we're at about, I would, I would guess uh, I don't know, it's about five feet, five feet or so. I don't want to go too short because it'll make it suddenly good, but I don't want to go, I, I, well, I, okay, so I'm literally, it's going to be like a, an Ethernet haircut. I'm going to, I'm going to just kind of, I don't know, what, uh, how about, how about like right there? Uh, I've spent so much time on this, I just want to go like a little bit at a time until I find that magic length, and I'm going to give you the magic length. Connect, connect, and... Okay, it kind of dropped and then came back up. Okay, pings have come up. Let's drag this off. Oh, look at that. Yes, 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 yes. Look at, look at this. Four megabits per, okay. Oh, I've created, I've created. Oh, yes, 
72 input errors, 65 CRC errors. I've created a mostly bad ethernet cable. One capable of giving me a partial connection. Here's the formula. It has to be exactly that long. Hang on. This cable is exactly 35 inches long, or if you are not in the United States, it would be 90 centimeters. Is that right? There's your magic length. 35, uh, I'd say 36, that, that would be almost exactly three feet. Three feet. Now, what I'm not going to test is I'm not going to go out and buy a different spool of cable to see if the Cat 5E, Cat 6, anything like that makes a difference. This is Cat 5E. The pins that I connected, pin one, green stripe, pin two, orange stripe, pin three, green, pin six, orange. I kept the blue and the brown out of the bundle just so I have only those so they can get all nice and I, I obviously know once we go in there, we've got these wrapped in there. I just didn't want to have to punch them in every single time because we only use those for data transfer. At the end of the day, I'm sure there is an easier way than what I just did, but I could not think of one. If you think of one, chat one into the comments below. I would love to find out. Like I was thinking about wrapping those bare wires around my cell phone and then calling it and saying, I, anyway, my mind had a thousand other creative ideas because I was probably two more crimps away from just throwing in the towel on this, but three feet, that's your magic number. So right around that three foot territory is where you get that magic, perfectly almost bad ethernet cable. Kids, come clean this up.